And we're back. It's been a couple hours. I went and took a shower and did a few things and I feel a lot better. You know, it's crazy how much my experience in terms of the, the difficulty of this mod has been fluctuating. One, because I played the mod uh, before they patched it and nerfed a bunch of things about enemies and a bunch of bullshit that they knew it was broken. But uh, yeah, in contrast to that and uh, the boss that I just fought, I've also had experiences like the clip I'm about, I'm about to show you fighting the uh, the Vadi boss. I'll go ahead and let that play now and I'll, I'll just let the clip speak for itself. Hello. Have a thief, foul spirit. Bitch. Tread this what if I just keep doing this over and over again? Marty, <laughs> my Marty. Well. Well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh shit. You know what, this is why we love strength builds here. So yeah, depending on what it is that you use and who you use it on, you, know, you can just completely negate the difficulty of certain encounters completely. And not only that, you can also, uh, certain things that you think would be good, that would do the same thing, also just don't work for some reason, like power stancing doesn't stagger anybody ever, but R1 spamming with regular weapons does, it's super weird. It is a demo, but still. But yeah, with that boss dead, I believe I have one, two, three more bosses? Four more bosses. And uh, after fighting the boss, I got the key to open the store. Which uh, anybody who's played Elden Ring should definitely recognize where they ripped this uh, location from. It's literally the inside of the wall in Stormvale. That's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to find any more large Titanite shards to further upgrade my weapon. But I mean, the damage I'm doing now seems to be more than sufficient. Oh, there's a Y-Hander. Neat. You know, running through Elden Ring locations and not being able to jump is so weird. Oh, that's a Mimic. I almost opened that shit. Die. Harlot. You remember how there's a mimic in Hate's Tower of Flame that just doesn't drop anything when you kill it? Yeah, that's fucked up. Also, that'll be useful. That Silver Knight is shooting me through the wall. I see you, bitch. Oh! Die. Oh, hello. That's fucking dirty as shit that they did that. Oh, there's a bonfire here, thank god. I was like, I know there's a boss down here, but do I have to run through that whole area every single time? And thankfully I don't. The mod seems to be being nicer to me after putting me through hell. All right, I know you can parry this boss, but let me try to do this normally, quote unquote. Oh, this might turn into another parry the boss until it dies for an hour and a half, but we'll see. What's up? Oh, this is using the uh, animations from that one enemy in Sekiro, the giant armored guy. And uh, it fits really well for this. Oh, I was not expecting him to run forward like that. Okay, well. I forget, does he have two health bars or does he have one? Right, I'm going to try pairing him for the walls. Also, a lot of good that extra health from being Embered gave me. Oh. All right, there you go. There's one. Oh, is it only two parries for him instead of three? All right, well, again, this being a Sekiro, enemy, all the attack windups are fucked up and delayed. I love how the healing animation is conveniently just long enough for you to get hit by stuff that you normally shouldn't be getting hit by. 
I will say, I love, I love the idea of parrying having to be done repeatedly in order to stagger a boss. Okay, well. Yeah, this, I'm, there's no way I'm popping an ember mid-fight in this boss room. I should just pop it at the beginning so I have more health. Okay, I have one heal left, but okay. I can't see my character. I can't see my character. I hate this boss room so much. I hate the delay. It's so bad. I hate it so much. It's so stupid and arbitrary to sit there for six fucking years while the enemy winds up their fucking... How is that not a pair? Okay. Whatever. Okay. Fuck you. That wasn't even hard. That was just stupid and annoying. Oh, look at that. It gave me 3,000 more souls than the souls that I had lost. Oh boy. Oh, he does have a boss weapon. That's surprising, actually. But I'd say, yeah, I don't have the stats to use any of these weapons. They all require either dex or one of the two magic stats. Alas, I am a strength build, so I get nothing. I don't even have enough souls to level up. It's 15 grand per level up. God damn it. <laughs> all right, I used up like half of my embers fighting those two bosses, so. And I still have three more to do. One thing I will say, though, is that the PV, not PV, that the, uh, like, level exploring and regular enemy encounters are not super difficult at all so like i like the idea of bosses being parryable and having to parry them multiple times to do damage but like if you're not gonna give me the actual parry then i'd rather just get hit all right now we are at i don't remember where we're at what the area was called even though i just read it oh hello oh it's right there No! Ah, bitch. Ooh, a large Titanite Shard. I need, I think I need like four <laughs> to upgrade this again. Ow. Some dickhead threw a stick at me. You little shit. 
But uh, yeah, in other completely unrelated news, uh, Evo Japan happened is this weekend or last weekend, I guess. This past weekend. And uh, a bunch of stuff for games got revealed. Um, the Akuma trailer dropped finally, the final character for season one. And he looks super cool. And just like tradition, he's super fucked up and really strong, but he has the least amount of health out of all the characters in the game. Also, his raging demon looks amazing. I'm not gonna ask how that worked, but it did. Anyways, that's it. They also showed off uh, Slayer for Guilty Kill Strive, which is another fan favorite character people have been asking for. He has a move where he punches you so hard that he flies out of his own clothes. It's hilarious. Ooh, two large titanite shards. Okay, I might be able to up actually upgrade my weapon soon. Here, I think I need one more. And then for Tekken 8, they actually showed off one of the characters from Tekken 7. Uh, Lydia, I think her name is. She was like really popular, a DLC character in Tekken 7. And uh, she came back, so that's very cool to see. One day, my official fighting game training arc will begin on this channel, but uh, today is not that day. <laughs> How big is this area? I feel like I'm walking around in circles, but I don't think I am. Although I say that, I think I've actually been here before. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'll handle it in the edit, but if I come off super annoyed and fucking shit ass mad in the recording, just know that the bosses I'm getting frustrated on, I'm doing them a lot longer than it looks like I am on camera. Okay, this area I recognize from people's videos. Oh, there's a bonfire here, thank God. Let me sit my happy ass down here. All right, there's a bunch of dead abyss watchers everywhere. This is very uh, atypical for them, I guess. Ah, right, and there's the boss wall. Oh, the follower saber from the DLC. Sick. Oh, there is more area over here, so I guess I'll. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, there's an Outrider Knight summon here. Outrider Knight Sirius. Huh, cool. I didn't know there was a summon for this fight. I've seen multiple people fight this boss. Oh, it's this lady. Oh, there's more. Oh, that's where the lizard is. Oh, she sells the uh, Undead Legion stuff. Neat. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the point where if you had any boss weapons, you, these would be the final upgrades you need to make it as strong as you possibly could in the demo. Damn. And sadly, like I said earlier, I don't have the stats to use any of the boss weapons, but I'm pretty sure they're all very cool. But I want to hit shit so hard that it just explodes. So, all right. I don't think there's any point in trying to pair this boss. I don't think it's one of those types. So I'll go ahead and two hand for this. Rhineblood Hottie of the Undead Legion. Oh, you little shit. Ow. I remember at some point during the Convergence mod development, I remember seeing that they wanted to add a Ice Abyss Watcher to the Grave Tender boss fight. Because I think currently it's just a one of the crow enemies with the rapier instead of the uh, NPC enemy. Also, I don't care what anybody says, this wolf is so fun to fight. Oh yeah, double hit.
Oh my god, stop it! I missed every single attack that I did there. This should be relatively easy now. Watch me die now, because I said that. Are you good, dog? I don't think he's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he broke for a second. You would not believe how many bosses you could do to it in this game before you just stab them like that. This is true. First try! Yeah, that was a cool fight. They basically just took the Grave Tender fight and put an actual engaging enemy to fight instead of an NPC or a standard enemy like the Convergence mod did. Yeah, I remember because I'm in the Discord for the Convergence mod. You know, they talk about it was for the DS3 version and the Elden Ring version when that came out. And I remember that they were going to add an Ice Abyss Watcher to the Convergence mod, but they never did. And I'm pretty sure people who worked on the Convergence mod also worked on this. So maybe they took that concept and they put it in this instead. Which I mean, shit, I'm glad they did because that's probably one of the cooler bosses in the game. Just like aesthetically speaking. Also, the theming of Skull and Hottie is very, very cool. Now I wonder, uh, do they have a boss weapon? Can I get the sword? If I can't, I'll be very sad. That'll be like the one boss weapon I actually want to use. Oh, uh, I need one more large Titanite shard. That's very upsetting. They do have it. I need 20 decks. Fuck. I have 10. Shit. Hmm. Do I pull my points from faith and intelligence and just become a straight up melee character. Mm. Oh, respecting only gave me three extra points. Oh God. Oh no. And refighting bosses does not give you souls. Mm. All right. Well, as much as I would like to use that weapon, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I guess I'll get it to see what it looks like, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to use it. God, that sucks. Also, I like how, uh, how which one was Skull and which one was Hottie? I don't remember, but uh, the Abyss Watcher has some of the Shinobi Hunter moves from Sekiro and he has that super delayed lunge kick that you can Mercury counter. Uh, if I wish I could Mercury counter that. Oh, it'd be so satisfying. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the weapon anyways. So yeah, it's a nice version of the Abyss Watcher sword. Yeah, I would imagine the attacks are the same. If this had new attacks, that'd be awesome, but I don't think it does. Oh, that's new. It has the, uh, what is it called? Old Wolf Curve Sword. Great sword, whatever the hell it's called from vanilla DS3. Okay, that's definitely better than the parry because while the parry is like, you know, functionally useful, it's not super flashy in the vanilla game. So I wonder if it has any special effects if you have the weapon art on it. Maybe it does. I need like 5,000 more souls. Ugh. I don't want to go fight the boss with 11K and then lose it like I did last time. So, oh, you can buy the captain's stuff. Okay, I won't lie. This captain's armor went pretty hard. I don't think I'd be able to wear it though. Uh, it's so cool looking though. Uh, if this were the actual full game, then I would totally go somewhere and farm souls until I was able to use it. But uh, is there anywhere to get large Titanite shards? I need one more. Uh, now I'm going to go kill some Silver Knights to see if they drop any. Although I don't think they do. I think they drop two large or two regular ones. All right, I got the souls to level up. So I'm going to go level up one more time and then I'm going to go ahead and go fight the last boss of this area. All right, we're back here in the chapel and 
Uh, this area looks uh, amazing. Uh, it kind of sucks that the fucking tranquility and sanctity of this area has been marred because they put enemies in here, but I mean, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Can I drop down here without alerting this person? I can, but I took damage, so that kind of sucks. All right, but down we go. Oh, my weapon's not gonna hit the side. Oh, there we go. Oh, my eyes. It is not the Ivory King. It is a man with a hammer. Who has a very familiar moveset. Ow. I'm pretty sure you can parry this boss as well. So if I get desperate, I might pull out the trusty buckler again. Ow. Oh. He has a cool design, though. I took all my stamina to do that parry. Holy shit. Look, it, 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 it be him. Ow. Oh my god, the fucking teleport. I literally couldn't see. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. So yeah, the Lois Knights are a thing in this fight, and they attack you. Cool. All right. Awesome. That's uh, that's gonna be problematic. There's a very specific reason why I didn't just go and kill it immediately. Yeah, they really did. They really have to make it so you take fall damage dropping down here. That's so fucking annoying. Oh, they can follow you in here. That's lame. Oh, Sorg is here again doing this. All right, I guess I'll help him first. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was a regular summon. All right, I'll help you, Sorg. I guess. Okay. God, I love the move with the great sword where you put it on your back and spin like that. And then Gale does it in the Ring City. Oh, it's so good. In his boss fight. Ow. dodge that, but okay. I... I can't... I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Alright, let's see if I can do slightly better this time. He almost died without summoning dudes. That would've been useful. Oh! Are you good, dog? Oh, he's broken. Oh, God. And this is really funny. He goes from having like a really modern FromSoft moveset to having a moveset from Dark Souls 1. Oh, I was actually worried. So uh, the knights, if they survive the first phase while attacking you, if they make it to the second phase, they'll actually start helping you. Which is kind of weird and doesn't really make that much sense. But I mean, the fact that they help you is really cool. Oh my god, look at all them go! Ow. Oh! Uh, he's very damage resistant. Oh! Right, I'm gonna drink this. Well, yeah, they did it. Yeah, squad. Sick. Cool. 
cool. Well, that went rather smoothly when we ganked the boss with six people. <laughs> I'm curious if Sorg is going to be here somewhere because that should advance his quest. Although I don't know how far his quest actually goes, but I'm going to try this one or two more times by myself. And I mean, if I could summon Sorg, that'd be great, but that might not be the case. Oh man, seeing this place with this giant gate in the background is making me so nostalgic. That attack is stupid. I dodged that. I dodged that, but okay. Game. Oh, there's a summon sign. It's Sorig. All right, I'm summoning Sorig. Don't worry, Sorig. We'll gank the world together. Oh, dumb bitch. Oh, I think Sora's gonna die before. Come on, Sora, heal yourself. That was not okay. And he's dead. Oh, he killed the knight. Oh shit. And he's dead. What? Why aren't you? Phase transitioning. Okay, he decided to hit me three times before he did that. That's fair. Oh! Okay, they did like no damage. It's so weird. Some of the things in this game do no damage. It's so odd. All right, boys. Jump him. I was hoping they would all jump him there, but they didn't. Like that. Damn, bro, chill out. You little bitch. You are such a fucking coward. Look at him roll away when he knows I can't hit him. What a fucking... Oh, well. You're such a fucking coward. What? I'm gonna kill my- I can't believe- this, this mod has so much fucking stupid bullshit and really the AOE attack that does no damage stuns you long enough that he can do a charge attack and I just so conveniently had not enough health to hit that. So fucking stupid. No, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. How did that miss? Game, I would love to you to explain how that missed. Because it didn't. But I'd love to see what excuse you'd make up as to why that did. I have the cool greatsword move where I spin. What is the point if he just rolls away? What is the point? So stupid, dude. Literally outsmarting all these bosses and outplaying this fucking stupid mod. I'm gonna try to do it by myself, although Sorg being a distraction is helping a lot, but I feel I don't know if the health buff he gets is detrimental or not. Yeah, trying to kill him while there's three of those jackasses chasing me is gonna be real annoying.
And of course, the grab attack has to have an AoE on it for no fucking reason. Oh, it... Kremel, you good, dog? Hey, he broke there for a second. Alright, well, Sword killed one of the knights because this, this fight is so perfectly designed. What a fucking joke, dude. I can't attack it, but uh, go go get him, boys. Get him. Damn. Dodge that. Ow. Oh, you dumb bitch. Oh, you, I hate you so much. How many souls do I get for that? I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, it's a cool fight, I guess, but like not having any kind of help against the gank because the gank then becomes your help later in the fight is like a cool idea but feels like summoning sorig is almost mandatory because during the first phase you're just running for your life and he's just surrounding himself with the ads and you can you can't get to the second phase because it's like sorig has to be there to distract the ads or the boss also yeah in the second phase or when he starts summoning people he like never attacks you with just his hammer so it's, you can't parry him Oh, we have Carmel's weapon here. Apparently, you can switch the... If you one-handed or two-handed, I guess, it does fire or frost damage, and I can actually use it. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get it. Oh, it's like the tonight... Oh, that's that. That's cool. Instead of one-handing or two-handing it, you flick it like the Tenitris from Bloodborne. That's super cool, actually. I want to use the weapon skill, but let me... Uh, Go use it somewhere that's not here. <laughs> How much does it cost to upgrade this? I mean, I don't have, I literally don't have any other boss weapons except for the sword, but I can't use it. So it is mainly a strength weapon, seemingly. So it should actually be good for my build. All right. Well, it already does more damage than my great sword. So uh, I'd love to see it. <laughs> I don't know if you can get a plus four boss weapon. I think I got all the Titan head scales that there is to get. Well, yeah, that's actually insane. Now it doesn't do as much damage because of the scaling, but the base physical damage is more. I mean, this does. 339 and this does 315 so it does like 15 or so less damage but it does attack faster because it is a hammer 
So let me actually try this out. Can you infuse boss weapons? I forget. I also have a heavy gem on that. So you can't infuse boss weapons. Boo. Man, that's lame. Yeah, the only reason the greatsword does more damage is because of the, the thing, the heavy gem that I have on it. Oh my God, I can wear the Phoenix guard set oh, or the chest piece at least. All right, I, I guess we're days vaulting with the mace now. All right, I just bought like 200 something kukri knives. Yeah, I have 174. Granted, I could only have 30 at a time, which is kind of lame, but... Heal, faint warmth from the Phoenix Collar Horn. So yeah, after fighting the uh, Vadi boss, uh, I bought a horn. And if I go over here, there it is. Sound the horn in view of the Phoenix Tower to be granted audience with Flanton's mentor. So yeah, if I use this... That's a really cool animation. I don't know where that's from. I don't think it's from Sekiro, but I might be wrong. Holy shit. Alright, so if I go over there now, there should be the final boss of the demo. And uh, from everything that I saw about this boss, it, it looked like a huge pain in the ass. So, God, it's so bright over there. Holy shit. Good job, guy. You did it. All right, here goes nothing. It's the Chimera from Dark Souls 1. Oh. Oh, you bitch. Alright. Whoops. Hello. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Now I know, I'm pretty sure this is one of the bosses when they updated the mod, the demo, it's one of the bosses that they did nerf. Oh. That, uh, I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Ow. Ow. Why am I getting up so slowly? And why was my weapon put away? I literally can't. Yeah, this is the thing about the boss that I remember saying is that it just runs away constantly. I mean, I got it down to like, what, 30% health, 33% health? That, so that's not, that wasn't as ball crushingly hard as I thought it was gonna be. But I mean, who knows, that might've been a fluke. When do you want me to hit the boss game? Okay, this is, I'm just gonna kill myself. This is a pointless run. Now it's cool that they modeled this weapon after the Tenacious from Bloodborne, but did they really have to make it so that the elemental effect lasts three seconds? That's not fair. You have to dodge into that to dodge it, but then he just doesn't attack that will hit you if you dodge into it anyways. Oh my god, this is the most annoying fucking thing on the planet. Holy fucking shit. So let me get this straight. I can't two-hand this weapon because it's the Tenacious from Bloodborne, so I can't get bonus damage from two-handing it. But I also can't infuse it to get bonus damage from the scaling either. And I also can't take advantage of the elemental buff that you get for it because it lasts three seconds. What is the point of this weapon? Like, look at that. It's so stupid. I wonder if I can poison the boss. 
Also, of course, he doesn't spawn in the middle of the arena. He flies to the back, so you don't have an opportunity to attack him. Fair. Unbalanced. Well, you can poison the boss, but it's Dark Souls 3 poison, so it's shit. I'm gonna sit there and trade with you. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that's fucking lame. You can instantly poison the boss, but if it turns into the bird, the poison effect goes away. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not... I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What a bitch-ass coward. Oh my god. Well. 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 Don't tell me it didn't count. That was stupid, and if it doesn't, then oh well, but oh my god, it didn't count. I'm gonna strangle. I beat the- oh my god. All right, note to self, if he does the giant AoE, just run up to him and smack him as hard as you can. On one hand, I was being reckless, and I was probably gonna die to that anyways, but... I like how he has a dive bomb explosion, but that's not enough. You're not allowed to chase him or else you get hit by it. It also spawns a million fireballs that have tracking. Oh, you bitch. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, that was annoying. But it didn't take as many attempts as the other bosses that I fought. I still think Janara is the boss that I died to the most. Which is funny, because every time I watch people play this game, they, like, stomp that boss. So I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Also, that didn't give me a ton of souls. I wonder what the intended path through here is. I mean, like, through the whole game. Because clearly the War Torn Village is the first area, but then you can kind of go wherever you want. <laughs> I would have assumed that Kreml's area, uh, Lame Lois would be like the second to last area because you know those bosses are relatively hard as shit at least for me they were yeah i figured the phoenix wouldn't have anything it seems like all the humanoid bosses that actually have weapons have stuff but everything else doesn't you know there's no like spells or anything i could have swore you could have gotten a uh, black flame serpent from uh the necromancer's soul i could have swore i saw that in a video somewhere but i guess not but uh, yeah i'm glad i did that boss fight with this weapon if i tried to do that with the great sword i might have jumped out of my one story window yeah i don't remember what i've been doing in these recordings because i've been splitting them up because i've been recording for so long but i feel like i did more in this last recording which is an hour and a half than i did in that one recording where the entire time i was literally just fighting old janara the entire time but yeah like i do with all these games that i play bitching and complaining aside uh this was very cool and very well made and i can't wait for whenever it eventually comes out i don't think there's a release date yet but the little bit of this mod that they've let us play so far has been really really cool i wonder if all the bosses are going to be as like over the top i guess not over the top in like a bad way but like you know you play a dark souls game the first few bosses you fight are like not super like crazy or anything but you know things like kreml and aldrich and you know the phoenix and you know basically all the bosses in the game are like those would be bosses that it seemed you would fight in like later mid to end game areas in like a regular dark souls game so I wonder if all the bosses in the full mod, whenever that comes out, are going to be, you know, that fantastical, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now and uh, proceed to edit the hours and hours of footage that this took. So uh, anyways, later. Straight.